What is Sharp and my peeps? Call me Peeps are back for episode 7 of our Ocarina of Time reverse dungeon order. We can't you can't see us here. We're hiding behind our little our little throne here. We'll go ahead and just start running into this, but fun fact, there's a couple of hidden chests in this room. I don't know exactly where they are. I think they're lined up. Is it this room? I I'm pretty sure it's this room. I know there's some uh, hidden chests that you're supposed to get with the Eye of Truth here. But, I don't remember exactly where they are. They're not even worth it if if it's this room. I don't even know if it's... I, I'm pretty sure it is. But, you can actually find them. I won't sit here and spend more than a couple seconds on this. But, yeah, it, it's whatever. I don't care. It might not even be this room, but whatever. We're gonna have our boss fight here. Now, the problem here is usually Zelda games kind of, like... I noticed in my last recording that Zelda games during boss fights, the music gets louder, so it might be a little hard to hear me. I'm gonna try something when editing and hope that that helps, but we'll see. So if it's a little hard to hear me during this boss fight, I apologize. I'll do what I can over it, but, you know. Here we go. We have our first uh, official boss fight of the run. Now... This, the second phase really is not an issue. It's, this first phase is more of the issue. The second phase you can kill in two cycles. Some You can even one cycle it, which I sometimes do. Not very often, but I can sometimes one cycle it. And basically what a cycle is, usually with these boss battles, like you'll have to do something special and then it'll knock them out or unconscious or whatever, and then you can go do damage to them. So like a cycle would be doing that once like a one cycle would knock him down once and then you know whatever now depending on how that's actually i'm gonna say that's a really good spot but they are really trolling me right now yeah they're really trolling me with their spots here i don't even know where this other one is if you don't know where they are, just run. If that hits you, I'm pretty sure you'll lose all your hearts and then lose them. Oh my gosh, we are being trolled so hard. Well, there goes a fairy. I am being trolled so hard right now, I want you guys to know. This is not good for Shadow Temple. Like, this really is not good for Shadow Temple. Oh, I'm, t I'm being trolled. They just will not, they... And when I'm ready for him, they're... Oh, thank you. I was gonna say, get over here. I'm telling you, the second phase... The second phase can hurt, but... It's not, like... Extremely deadly. And when these two sisters are both, you know... Off the end, you never know who's gonna shoot it and where to look. And it's just a big pain. This boss fight can be a big pain. Especially when you get trolled. Like this, I mean, it's directly behind me. Nothing I can really do about it. And, you see, look at this. Look at this! Okay, yeah, fly, fly towards your sister. Okay, right... No! I was gonna say, if I miss, I got the perfect shot, and that would've been me. And I think they take three to four. For some reason, I feel like sometimes it takes three, and sometimes it takes four. I don't know if random or if it's just four or what come on no barely barely out of range but, oh i was gonna say you better fly over here. thank you really no point setting up uh, a jump slash there but now they're gonna fuse and this phase is not nearly as bad it is a shame we lost the fairy, though. It just puts more pressure on Shadow Temple. Now, this phase, what we have to do is get three of the same element into our shield. But the first time she does this, she'll always use the same element three times in a row. So, if you can one-cycle her, then there's really no worries. Even if not, this attack, like, if she were to throw fire, you just jump slash out of the way. It's, uh, I'm not jump slash, but back flip out of the way. It really is not. And if you get ISG, this might be a one cycle, but it's too late. Nope. 
ISG can one cycle most of the bosses, but look at that. So we one cycled. So if you get ISG real quick, like I did, then you one cycle. You're pretty that second phase is pretty much guaranteed because you're always guaranteed to get the same element three times in a row for your first uh, for when the battle starts. So. And then again, like I said, if you can't one cycle, if you are not good at ISG, just jump slash onto her, and instead of trying to get ISG, just spam crouch stab. If you get lucky, you can one cycle crouch stabbing, but if you just sit there and spam it, then most of the time you'll get her one, maybe two hits away. So the next, you know, as long as you can get her down again, you'll be okay. I always go for ISG once or twice, and if I don't get it, then I'll just spam. Because ISG, like you saw, is really good. But I'm not the best at getting ISG. I think I'm getting better, but I'm still not the best at it. we got to be very careful with our movements here. Well, not necessarily this one, but in other places. We don't want to accidentally pick up a heart piece. I mean, it wouldn't be devastating, but... You know, we're, we're trying to go for no... Y'all know how it is. We're just trying to go for a no... Eh? eh? No. <laughs> a no... Or a three heart stipulation, so... I hope we can get lucky with fairies. But... I don't think so. Oh, boy. See, having only one fairy really makes me nervous for Shadow Temple. There's just... If you know Shadow Temple, then you know the boss can be kind of a pain, especially without arrows. The boss can be a big pain. And then... Oh, man. And then... Uh, what, what am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say here? What am I trying to say here? And then the fairy ship. There's a fairy ship you take, and there's two... Um, Skullfos. They're Skull... T what are they called? Are they Skullfos? I don't think those are what those are. But there's two armored guards, we've seen them. And they sometimes use up a fairy of mine, so. If I could keep my fairy to Bongo Bongo, I'd feel a little safer. But Bongo Bongo has sometimes taken two of my fairies, just because. I mean, most of the time I can take out Bongo Bongo without too big of a problem. But there are some times when I just freak out and choke, and then just completely get obliterated by him, so. Let's just hope either I can get a really lucky fairy somewhere, or I can pull off a really clutch shadow temple. Because again, to get the boss key for the shadow temple, you have to take damage, just like we did at a, uh, just like we did here to get this boss key. So that's unfortunate. You have to take at least. You have to take at least half a heart. Half a heart is really hard to do. I've only done it once. But you have to take... Most of the time, you're taking... You know, three-fourths of a heart. And if you're not good, then you'll take a heart or more. Just to get the boss key. And if you fail, then you'll take off all those hearts. Have to leave the room, enter, and then take off more hearts again. So it's just kind of like... It's not a good situation for anyone. But, now we're on our way to try, the keyword here is try, and make our way into the shadow temple. Now I hope I can do this first try, but the rest of this episode will probably be spent trying to get in there, and even if I do get in there, I don't know how much of it will actually get done, just depends. And if we do it first try, then we, we'll probably get the hover boots and then call it there. But, you know, it's just, it's just all depends on how long it takes and what time does with us. That's kind of an awkward... But while backwalking on these screens are just really awkward because you're not looking exactly at a straight angle like you would like on the field here or something. But it's like I said, you might want to get used to seeing this because we might be doing it quite often. You see I put my bombs on the hotbar and saved because we're going to need a bomb chew to get into the temple. So, uh, you know, there's no point in starting the game up and then putting them on my hotbar each time, you know, or I guess my C bar, my C stick, whatever. Might as well just keep it there. 
because I'm not worried about accidentally using one. I'm nowhere near the C stick. Or I'm nowhere near, you know, getting close to trying to use any C items doing this. Not until I need to use the bomb, in which case, no worries. So we're just going to just take your casual backwalk here, or if you don't want to backwalk, if you don't know the game or field, then you can stroll over here by rolling the original game way, the OG way of traveling faster. So we're going to take this up here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hold a bomb. Or no, we're not going to hold a... Are we? No. We're going to... D we jump off. No, hold up. So we... I... I Okay, so it's either you hold a bomb, jump, and then shield drop, and spam B to jump slash up there, or you jump, and then shield drop at midair, and spam B. I think it's this way? No. Okay. What is... hold up. I gotta remember how to do this. I know you don't have to time it. It's, uh... I have to remember this really quickly. Okay, so you have to hold the Z button. That's what I was doing wrong. So hold Z, and then pull out the bomb, walk off, and then shield drop it. And then you need to get ISG up here, which is where Navi comes in. And so, when you're up here, you never really want to use the Z button to target. So that's why I have the hook shot. Now, the main problem I always had with this glitch was getting up onto this top seam. I see some people backflip it, but that's not for me. So the way I usually get up here, and it works most of the time, is just walk slowly straight up onto this. But be careful, because if you go too far out, then you'll get stuck. And if you go too far down the slope, then you'll slide down the slope and then have to restart anyways. So you just want to kind of carefully, like if you just walk slowly, then it brings you pretty much to the top of the scene. And this was always the problem I had. Like, I, it, the main problem was I could never get up onto the scene. Because once you get up here, then you've basically done the hardest part. Oh, okay. That was a little quick, but... Like, some people I see turn at an angle and jump slash. Or not jump slash, backflip onto this, but I could never do that. You know, so that's why it always took me 40 minutes or so, because getting up here was the hardest part. Once you're up here, then as long as you play it safe, you'll be okay. The corners are really the only thing that can... Did I... I really got stuck? Wow. I just... Okay. If you get stuck, try to just backflip out of it. I was walking too close to the edge there. You kind of want to be more to the right than the left. It, as you saw, I got stuck. The corners you want to be careful for, though. If you slide down the corner, then you're going to get stuck down there. And you'll have to hope for a backflip up here, but I won't count on it. So stay kind of more to the right, but not too far to the right. As you saw, going left, we got stuck. Thankfully, our camera didn't get stuck. Well, your camera does get stuck, but thankfully we were just looking straight at something, not like one of these angles, so that I could just backflip and get out of it. But yeah, I'd stay to the right here. Just be very careful. You know, don't use your Z target. I would use your C stick or your hook shot. A lot of people say use the hook shot, but C stick seems to work for me. And then as you get close to these uh, corners here, just come up a little more to the left and go slow because you don't want to turn a corner too fast, get stuck, and then, sh you know, screw yourself. As far as how many chews you need when you enter this temple, I believe you only need one. The more you have, the easier another trick is going to be, but you the only necessary amount, I believe, is one. So, if you have to waste all your chews to get up here, as long as you have one, you're fine. The more you have, the better. Again, but, oh, did I go too far down? No. I mean, like I said, if you just go slow, this part really is not hard. I mean, getting up here is always my hardest part. And now that I learned my little trick of just walk slowly towards the edge, and then it'll, Link will just walk up here. You know, it works for me probably 95% of the time, you know. And it made this glitch a lot easier, and entering this temple a lot less of a hassle. Now, these final two corners are the worst. Mainly that last corner. And you can kind of see that the camera angle doesn't really give you a ton to work with. 
Alright, we good? And again, be, be very careful. Don't go too far left. But also don't go too far right, because you don't want to end up sliding down this slope. Alright, sweet. So once you get on here, you're basically set. Now I have, uh, whoa! Shoot, did I? Okay. I thought I got stuck. That would not be good. Don't get stuck right up here. That would suck. What we're gonna do is, you can see that the room is not loaded. We want to keep it that way so we can get past all those torches and get into the door when it's not loaded. Because originally to get in, this whole room is filled with torches and you have to have dense fire stand on that middle platform, light them all, and the door opens. Obviously, we don't have that, and we're not going to go get that. Although, could we? I wonder if we could. I wonder if you could enter this. Well, I mean, I guess if the room loaded, you would need it. But as I was gonna say, you can't get up here without the song. But you could glitch up here still and have a backup plan. So if you can get dense fire, that might not be a bad backup plan in case you accidentally load the room. Because you can jump off here and load the room. I've had it happen to me a couple times, and it's not fun because you have to reset. And... All the times it happened to me was before I found out my little walk slowly just directly at the wall trick. And so it was, you know, always pissed me off. So I was like, great, now I'd spend another 30 minutes just to get up top, then hope I don't get stuck. Again, I'll reiterate it enough. Just walk slowly, straight up the hill, very slowly, and you'll eventually just walk right up there. And then you'll be good. Just walk slow the rest of the way. You should be fine. I mean, as you saw, you have a little leniency. Not incredible, but you do have leniency. And if you know what you're doing and just go slow, you should be fine. And again, getting up to the top used to be the hardest part. So my little uh, trick there should help you. If you want to get fancy, you can try to set up your backflip and backflip onto it. But I don't like doing that. It's a lot harder that way. I just, I don't do it that way. So enough of that. So you just want to line yourself up with the stairs. You want to make sure you're not going to miss the stairs and jump into the void. And from what I could tell... You load this room by being too far to the right. So when you get yourself lined up, you want to... Hold on. Come on. Just turn right. Oh, gosh. I'm, feel, I'm feeling scared. It's just LP luck that I would screw this up. Like, I feel like we're not turned directly. Okay. So just move to the left. You know, make sure you're pretty high up left, and then just side hop left. You'll hit the ground, and look at that. The room is not loaded. You can just side hop right into the temple. Look at that. Is that not just beautiful? And so we have 10 bomb shoes to work with. That's actually pretty good. That's a lot. Like I said, you only need one, and the more you have, then the more chances you'll tr have it attempting this one trick. And if you don't get it, all you do is... Uh, I mean, it'll make more sense next episode when we do it. If, it. if you don't get it, then all you do is, uh, don't save, but you reset, and then go try it again. And then once you get it, you'll save. But as long as you follow what I do, you'll, you'll, you'll be fine. You know, just don't save unless you see me save, or if I tell you not to save, don't save, you know, all that fun stuff. Whoops. Now I think that how we'll end this episode is in order to get this guy to spawn you have to get grabbed by hand. But jump slashing into a hand actually gets rid- like you don't get grabbed by it, so it's good to know. Now you can one side this guy. I don't think I've ever done it, but I was too- too early. Anytime he burrows you have to get grabbed by hand, so just jump slash into it and then you won't have to worry about gosh i really suck at fighting this guy and killing him quickly he's not a hard guy at all because you just crouch stab him and then he'll run away but if you can get those extra hits off you'll kill him i said once gosh dang it and that's what happens if you don't jump slash into the thing anyways we'll go ahead and uh get this here He's just twitching out over here. That's kind of freaky. Anyways, we'll pick up the hover boots here. But as I'll finish explaining, yeah, you can two cycle them, not one cycle, I believe, by getting one of those extra hits in. But we got the hover boots, which we now will officially have on our menu. But the funny thing is, we have two pairs of hover boots, apparently. 
Apparently, we have two pairs of hover boots. One where our... What would... What's supposed to be there, anyways? Is that supposed to be our wallet? I think so. No. Yeah, it might be. I think that's where our wallet's supposed to be. I don't remember for sure, though, but... But we have two pairs. We can't do anything with the other pair, but we have it. <laughs> it's there. And it was just like the bomb. The bomb was there. Now we're going to save and quit just for episode. Oh, excuse me. Just for episode thing here. It will give us our three hearts back, which is good. Because if you don't know, anytime you are under three hearts and you st uh, st save and reset, it'll give you three hearts again. Even if you and you get taken down to two, it'll take you back up to three. And when I say full hearts, like, even if you picked up heart pieces and stuff, it'll all, the game will always set you back up to three if you're below it. If you're higher than it, it won't, but if you're below it, it will. And I don't really abuse it in my reverse dungeon order runs, but just for episode's sake, I'm going to use it. Because, and plus, soft reset. Like, you can save and reset to get back to the start of the temple anyways. Them walking back but it's one way you can do it if so help that's what you would like to do with it but we're still sitting at that zero game overs thankfully so i think that'll go ahead and do it for this episode next time we'll we probably won't fight bongo bongo but we will end up uh probably doing most of the shadow temple so wish me luck on that so that we don't uh you know lose uh -huh. oh no anyways <laughs> That is it for me. I will go ahead and see you guys next time. Peeps out.